I'm completely against this. I didn't buy my house in Niles. I bought my house in Howland for a reason. I'm a Howland High School Right now at 6, a local woman makes an emotional plea against the Niles annexation, and she says safety is a big reason why. We've been telling you about the ongoing controversy surrounding the possibility of Niles annexing parts of Howland and Wethersfield Townships. Tonight, a personal plea from a Howland woman who is against the annexation. First News reporter Nadine Grimley shares her story tonight. Everything across the street, city of Niles. So we are literally on the border. Michelle Gooding has lived in her home on Ravenwood Drive in Howland Township for 25 years. She worries should annexation move forward, her property could be in Niles. Our property values are going to severely decline. I've already talked to my insurance company. My homeowner's insurance is going to go up. My car insurance is going to go up. One of the reasons she chose this house all those years ago was its close proximity to Howland's fire station in Bolendale. It's even more important now that my mom has Alzheimer's. Gooding is now a caretaker for her 79-year-old mother, Jackie Hamami. She says her mom is a fall risk. The delay in an ambulance time literally could mean the difference of life and death for my mother. And that's not a chance I'm, I'm willing to take at any point in time. Since Allen Township voters passed a levy in November, the fire station a mile from her home will soon have an ambulance staffed full time. We've enjoyed the fact that our tax dollars for Howland go to protect the residents with those services that we do desperately need. The Howland Fire Department provides fire, rescue and medical services for people who live in the township. You will not receive a bill if you are a resident of Howland Township for our ambulance service. However, for the people who live in the township who fear their property is in jeopardy, should Niles be successful in their annexation, that too could change. The cost of a private ambulance can be absolutely outrageous. And when you know, you're taking care of someone with Alzheimer's and all your resources goes to that, there's not much left over. In Howland, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.